Let's take a look at the next step in searching for a business model, and that's customer validation. By now, to get to this step, we assumed you believe you have product market fit. Now, you would say, okay, now I could hire people, now I could like run my million dollar Google AdWords campaign, and we say, no, not really. We don't really think you have enough evidence to do so. We kind of hear you that you believe you do. So we're going to do this again, but this time trying to get orders or users or both, depending on what your business model said. So phase one is you're going to get ready to sell. If it's a physical product, you're going to develop sales collateral, meaning the data sheets and price lists and demos, etc. If it's a, um, a web and mobile product, you're going to try to acquire and activate customers, and you're going to build a high fidelity, minimum viable product, which is a fancy word for your website or mobile app will look like it's almost done. Maybe the help files aren't there, etc. And maybe not all the features, but the core features that people will use. And then you get out of the building, physically or virtually, and you try to get out and sell. And See if you get users or payers or both. The other thing you'll be doing simultaneously with this is develop positioning, which is a fancy word for saying, okay, I now have a lot of customer feedback. How could have I best describe this based on what the customers are actually telling me? Because you'll ask. So I explained it to you like this. How could I have said it better? And, and if you actually listen to them, they actually would have said, yeah, you know, I ignored the first seven things you said. But when you said number eight, that's when I really got interested and excited. And so you're going to develop a both corporate or company and product positioning, and you're going to do this way before you ever spend money on external PR agencies by actually listening to your own customers. And then in phase four, you're going to verify or repeat. And you're going to see if you're ready to start scaling sales and marketing spending in customer creation, which is the most expensive part of a startup. This customer validation stage actually gets you out and you pretend you have the world's largest sales force and you're ready to go, okay, I think it's really going to work because I've tested it in customer discovery. And most of the time you find out, oops, I really didn't quite understand what those customers were saying. And instead of being out of business because you spent all your money on Salesforce or Google AdWords campaigns or customer acquisition, you now have the cash and time to simply go back from phase four and go back and pivot and say, I clearly didn't understand something about my customer segment or features or customer needs or how to uh, do customer relationships, etc. And so customer validation in its detail, again, has two tracks, one for physical, uh, one for web mobile, get ready to sell, sell to early customers who we call early evangelists, develop positioning, and again, either pivot or proceed.